thank you so much for stopping by. Well, today's recipe is a very unique recipe. It's something that I have come out with and uh, it's really very delicious. It's got a very unique flavor and it has a very simple ingredients that are always there in our kitchen or in our pantry. So I hope you like today's recipe and I hope you give it a try and do let me know in the comments box below how you liked it. Don't forget to give this video a big like and hit the subscribe button that you see just below this video. So let's get started friends. So friends, today we're going to be making this amazing weekend chicken. It's very simple to prepare but it's so delicious. You'll want to make it all the time. So let's begin by seeing what ingredients we are going to be using for this recipe. Now I'm going to be using one large onion which has been sliced and we are going to fry this in one tablespoon of oil. I'm using olive oil over here. You can use regular cooking oil and we're going to fry this till it becomes lovely and golden brown and crispy just like how we prepare it for a biryani. And then we're just going to put it into our mixer or grinder once it is at room temperature and we're going to grind it to a paste. This unfried onion paste adds a different taste and flavor to this recipe and makes it just divine. And now we're going to use one medium sized tomato chopped. Then we're going to be using two green chilies which I've just slit in the middle and use the light green chilies because they're not at all very very spicy. Then we're going to use few curry leaves about six to seven curry leaves. See that your curry leaves are nice and green and fresh. One way of storing them is store them in some newspaper or in some paper. Then we're going to use about two teaspoons of coriander powder or dhania powder. I have a recipe for homemade powders. I will leave a link below as well as one teaspoon of cumin powder or jeera powder. Then we're going to use one teaspoon of kasuri methi. We're going to be using half a teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi powder. One teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder which gives a lovely colour to this dish. It doesn't add to the spiciness that much but it adds a beautiful colour. One half a teaspoon of garam masala. I also have a recipe for homemade garam masala. Check the description box below. A cup of dahi or curd. Again I have a recipe for homemade curd. I leave that below. And half a cup of cream. Now this is optional, you can add the cream or you can leave it out. And the most important ingredient is our chicken. I always use boneless breast which I cut up into small cubes because it's very lean uh, meat. And then we're going to use one inch of ginger which I've just grated using a, a cheese grater. And we're going to use about six large cloves of garlic which I've chopped up very very fine. And of course, the most important ingredient of all our dishes, which really adds some flavor to all our dishes, and that is salt. We're going to use salt to taste. Mostly about three-fourths of a teaspoon. Always go slow on the salt. You can always add salt later. So let's begin now making this amazing weekend chicken recipe. Now again, I'm heating about one tablespoon of oil in my pan. Once our oil is nice and hot on a medium flame. We're going to fry our garlic. We're going to fry it well till all the rawness goes away. Then we're also going to be adding our grated ginger and our green chilies. We're going to fry all of this. We're going to fry the green chilies too because this will flavor the oil. It'll add flavor to the entire dish. Always cook on a low to medium flame and watch your cooking. Don't leave it on a high flame because then it tends to get burnt and then it leaves a very uh, burnt flavor to the entire dish. Now we're going to add these curry leaves which also give a lovely aroma and a lovely flavor to this dish. Okay. 
Now, once everything is fried very well, we're going to add the tomatoes. Now, we're going to fry the tomatoes till they become nice and soft and mushy. So, we have to fry this for a little while. Now, we're going to be adding this onion paste, the fried onion paste. We're going to add that too. And we're going to give everything a good mix and a good fry. Right now, my kitchen is just full of amazing aromas of all these amazing uh, ingredients. Now, I'm going to be adding the coriander or the dhania powder, the cumin or the jeera powder and give all of this a good mix. I called this weekend chicken because it's really ideal to make it on a Saturday night or a Friday night or a Sunday night. Now I'm going to be adding the kasuri methi, the garam masala, the haldi and the Kashmiri chili powder. Now all we have left to add is our chicken. So we're going to add the chicken and we're going to fry the chicken well till it changes from a raw pink color to a nice brownish white color. So we need to fry this along with all of the other ingredients well. Now we're going to add salt to taste. So you can go with three-fourths of a teaspoon or one teaspoon. We're going to add our curd or our dahi. Give everything a mix. Now we're going to add some water, about half a cup of water, so that it just cooks up everything and gives us a little bit of a gravy. We're going to cover this and cook this for 15 minutes on a very low flame, but please keep checking in between, keep stirring in between. It has to cook for 15 minutes and then you get this amazing, lovely chicken gravy. And now we're just going to make it even more tastier and delicious by adding some cream. Now mix in the cream well and now all we are left to do is just garnish this with some lovely butter. You can leave out the butter but I like to put you know a small dollop of butter on top and then just lots and lots of coriander. I love coriander in all of my curries and dishes and there friends is our lovely weekend chicken all ready. You can have this with some lovely naans. I will be coming up with a recipe of how to make naans at home. It's so simple. Or you can have it with some whole wheat, roti, poli or chapati or even some rice. So I hope you like today's recipe. I hope you give it a try and do let me know in the comments box below how yours turned out. Do go and check out all my other 280 plus recipes on Akshata's recipes. I will leave a link below that you can visit my channel. And don't forget to hit the like button. That way I'll come to know that you'll really appreciate and like my videos and want me to put up more videos. Do hit the subscribe button. Do ring the bell once you have subscribed so that way you'll get a message every time I put up a video on my channel. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for watching my videos and I will catch you in my next one. Take care. Bye.